The greenside bunker shot can strike fear into so many of you out there, but today I'm going to tackle the key important pieces that you need to do both at setup and during the swing to make this shot become your new best friend. So much of the success or failure in this shot starts at setup, and I see so many of you getting this wrong. The setup for a greenside bunker shot should be very different to a setup for a standard shot. I'm going to go through those key pieces now. So let's start with the club itself. Make sure you're choosing your most lofted sand wedge to give yourself the best chance of utilizing the sole or the bounce of the club to get this ball up and out of the bunker. That's the way these clubs are designed. They're designed to try to help you. And yet I see so many of you setting up with the club face turned in square or even slightly closed. And that's going to present the leading edge, the front edge of this golf club to the sand. And that's a prime recipe for digging into the sand. That's not going to work. So the first thing at setup is to take this club and open it some 10 to 15 degrees and then take your grip and the second piece in the setup to discuss would be the grip itself. I've covered this in previous short game chipping lessons where you're gonna benefit from having a more weaker, more turned top hand over the grip like so. And that would be because that has the function of helping to keep this club face open. Once again, so many of you have this club face closed when you take it back, that as you come into the sand, you're digging and you're struggling to control that club's interaction with the sand. So the first two things you're gonna do, open the club face 10 to 15 degrees, take your grip, and make sure your right hand is more on top of the grip than it would be for a standard shot. Then when we talk about the setup, we need to make sure we get further from the ball and lower the handle. Lowering the handle or pushing the hands down actually increases the amount of loft that's presented on the club face. So we're going to stand further from the ball and have our handle much lower than normal. For me this almost feels like it's between my knees. My stance is wider than it would be for any other shot. This is even wider than a driver. With my feet turned out, particularly my front foot, I've got it turned almost 45 degrees towards the target there. 45 degrees towards the target keeps my lead knee forwards and over my lead foot and helps to keep my weight where it needs to be which is forwards throughout the setup and the swing when you're in the bunker so we've covered some pieces there that already at setup make this shot completely different to anything else you're doing club face more open grip more on top standing further from the ball with the handle lower and stance wider than before with 90 percent of your weight positioned on this front leg When it comes to the execution of this shot, there are two main errors that I see happening time and time again with amateur golfers. Number one, they don't keep the club face with enough loft on it throughout the swing. So they don't have the club face open enough to enable them to pop this ball up and out of the bunker. And that's seen mostly in the backswing where golfers are taking this club back with the leading edge pointing down towards the ground somewhat. The setup and the grip that I've already prescribed should help to overcome some of this, but there's a great little exercise you can do in the backswing which will teach you to keep the loft on the face. You're going to start by scooping some sand onto your club face. Okay, so this in the first instance actually forces me to have my club face open enough. If I turned this club somewhat square, the sand would simply fall off the club face. So I'm gonna scoop some sand onto the club face and hover it just above the ground. And as I move this club in the backswing, the goal would be to keep this sand on the club face and move it and throw it over my shoulder. That would require me to move my wrists and move this club face in a way that keeps the loft naturally on the club face. Now this might take a few goes for some of you. Uh, I've certainly tried this with a number of students and they find it extremely difficult because as they start to move the club, the sand falls off immediately. And that's due to the way they're twisting and controlling this club face, i.e. turning it down towards the ground. So this is an exercise if you have access to a, bunker practice, a practice bunker at your club, you can scoop up some sand, and start moving this thing and throwing this sand 
over your shoulder towards the target. The second issue I see with so many amateur golfers is a lack of speed with the club head through the sand. I saw something last year on Trackman regarding this club head speed of the PGA Tour golfers through the ball from a bunker. They had a Trackman sitting just at the back of a bunker and I believe it was Matt Kuchar who was practicing hitting these greenside bunker shots, splashing these balls out and his club head speed measured in the 90s, 90 miles per hour. That's faster than most of you swing your driver. And so it's important for you to think about swinging fast. The best tip I can give you for that would be that when you're in the bunker, and if you get a chance to get to the practice bunker, this is a nice one to, 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 to try, is to think about hitting the sand out of the bunker. So there I just hit the sand and the grains of sand flew onto the edge of the green. They flew past the top of the bunker onto the fringe and some made it to the, to the edge of the green. So I'm gonna keep practicing hitting and moving this sand all the way to the green. That for me feels like quite a fast swing. I'm having to put quite a bit of speed into that. And most of the time you're gonna find that you're not swinging fast enough. Let's hit the sand onto the green. That just about made it. One more time. Again, just made it to the edge of the green. These swings are fast, they're quick. In order to be able to swing quickly and not hit the ball too far, I need to make sure I'm managing the loft and the club face. So that's the grip and that's the backswing exercise we talked about where we're throwing the sand over our shoulder. So those are the things you need for a good greenside bunker technique. Let's just go through them one more time. We've got the club face open, the grip with the right hand more on top. We're standing further from the ball with the handle down and the stance really wide. I've got 90% of my weight on this lead knee, lead foot, and I'm gonna keep it there throughout the swing. My back swing, I'm throwing that sand over my shoulder, and then I'm gonna make sure I complete my swing to try and hit the sand onto the green. That's my last swing thought. I'm gonna swing fast enough to hit this sand onto the green. We'll take that one.